Hi guys, and I'm here. Today we are creating this makeup look right here. I went for a nice bold lip, mixed up a couple of shades that I've got, and I'm so excited because I was trying a new lipstick and I think it's now probably one of my favorites. <laughs> and for the eyes, we went for this like subtle smoky eye where you can wear it during the day. It's not too, too crazy. You can also wear it at nighttime. This look is so quick to achieve, you guys. All you need is a few shadows and really some nice highlight and blush tones on your face to bring it all together I think makes the world of a difference. So if you want to learn how to create this makeup look right here, just keep on watching. And while you're watching, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you join my community over here. Without further ado, let's just jump right into this tutorial. You know when you haven't worn makeup for a few days, you kind of wonder if you still remember how to wear makeup? I'm in that phase right now. <laughs> We're gonna start with our eyes. I am using the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer to prime them. I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid and I'm just using kind of like a flat shadow brush this is from flower beauty it's e01 and I've had this brush for a few years now it just does the trick perfectly when I want to spread something really nice and evenly across the lid using that same shadow brush I am going to apply powder on top and this is the L'Oreal true match powder all my shades are listed down below in the description box in case you are wondering or you are a really similar skin tone like me i recently picked up the visi art dark edit eyeshadow palette it is a small little palette like that it's got 12 shadows i think it's really really pretty and perfect for this time of year there's shimmery shades at the bottom and then all the matte shades are the first two rows i'm taking this first shade right over here and I'm using that in my crease area as my transition shade. I'm gonna use this brown shade right here on the edge of my lid right here because I want the edge to be smoky but I don't want my whole eye to be smoky so this way it's easier to control your shadow and figure out like how dark you want to go what you want to do with it because you can bring the color in this is another eyeshadow palette I've had for a while it's the Shiseido essentialist eye palette and um, this one is the Namiki Street Nature 03 I don't know if I'm saying that correctly but just bear with me it's another beautiful palette you guys you have your light shades and then it goes into the dark shades and you can really play around with these four colors create some looks um, we're gonna use this gold shimmery shade right here I'm gonna apply that all over my lid I like that the shimmer is quite Subtle. It's definitely got a shine to it, but it's not too crazy. It's almost like in between a matte, a super matte and a super shimmery shade. And that's exactly the look that I've been wanting to go for. Now I'm just kind of blending my dark edges into the gold. I'm going to be a little bit bold and I really want to add a bit of orange. So we're going to use this shade here. It's like the orangest, orangest shade on this palette. And I'm gonna add some of that just up here in my crease area so you can see how it's a little bit more of a burnt effect I like that so much I'm taking a super clean blending brush and I'm really going to blend those colors in my crease area so that they're nice and seamless and flawless okay the last thing I'm gonna do is actually add a bit of this purple shadow because it's just calling my name and we're gonna add that to the edge of our lid as well if you want now would be the perfect time to use kind of like a more shimmery shadow on top of the gold if you really want it to pop the Stila liquid eyeshadows are really great for that because the pigment and payoff is incredible and I promise you the lids will look sparkly and shiny like your entire day but that's not the look that I'm going for I want it to be more of this like subtle shimmer so that's it for the eyes, you guys. The next thing I'm gonna do is just apply some eyeliner. So I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. We're gonna come back and finish the eyes, but for now, I'm just gonna move on to my face. I'm using the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Youth Infusing Serum Makeup. This foundation is actually SPF 25, which I love because 
um, that way you can kind of skip your sunscreen if you need to or if you're just not a big fan of sunscreen I suggest getting a foundation or even a face powder that has SPF because it's important you got to protect the skin and I like to use a brush first and then finish everything off with my sponge with a beauty sponge but I don't know lately I've just been really enjoying kind of taking my time stippling the foundation into my skin with a brush first. Now I really like to take a damp beauty blender and kind of just go over the foundation and really pack it onto the skin. And the way that I'm baking my sponge damp is just by using my Pixie Glow Mist instead of water. I find that this way the foundation lasts a little bit longer. Maybe it's in my head, but I don't know. I just feel like it does a good job of keeping everything in its place. I'm gonna move on to concealer. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I'm gonna apply a little bit under my eyes. Okay, that's quite a bit. <laughs> that is not a little bit. Um, I like to do a bit on my forehead, my chin, kind of like that. <laughs> using that same damp beauty sponge, damping it a little bit more. Now I'm using my L'Oreal True Match powder again and I like to start under my eye to conceal this portion as soon as possible. Okay, now using just a large, fluffy, big powder brush, I apply powder all over my face. I have this really stubborn zit right over here and for some reason, it's been there this whole week, I want to say, and every time I do my makeup, I forget to conceal it. Like, I forget to just try to hide it to the best of my abilities. So, it's just part of my look now, you guys. <laughs> now we are moving on to bronzer, which is one of my favorite parts. I'm using the Annabelle Perfect Bronze. We are going to go pretty bold with the lips today, so I am using this Luce Watier Twist and Sharp long lasting lip liner I'm trying a brand new lipstick from sephora this is the shade l04 and it's just like a beautiful like reddish brownish shade you guys so so pretty oh yeah feels amazing i really like it but i am actually gonna layer it because i want it to be a bit more brown so i am using my nars audacious lipstick and this is the color louise beautiful like super brown shade this is another kind of like glossy wet lipstick but it stays on through like everything i'm going back into my viseart palette and i'm using that first light lightest brown shade in the palette and i'm gonna apply that in my waterline we are going to use the clinique high impact lash elevating mascara now if you ever have mascara fall out as you're applying it don't be like me just don't touch it okay I feel like I often touch it and then I end up smudging it all over my face and have to like go in with like concealer or something to fix it. I don't know why I do that, but don't be like me. Um, just wait because once it dries, it flakes off your skin anyway. You can very easily just pick it off, or even with tweezers or something. So it is not the end of the world. I forgot how good this mascara is. Time for some blush. I'm using my Anastasia blush kit. I'm so sad that this doesn't exist anymore, or maybe it does and you can only get it off their website, but I know that it's not on um, Sephora, and you guys, this is my favorite, okay? I love all four shades in here, super blendable. You can mix them together. Um, it's definitely like one of my favorite blush palettes, and I'm gonna be sad when I'm finished like I already see that I'm close to finishing this coastline shade right here just gonna darken the edge a little bit with this color here which is called Terrace and second last step we are going to highlight I'm using the Maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter this is the shade molten gold 100 look at that you guys so pretty I also like to go in with the same highlight on my brow bone so gonna apply some here I'm gonna use some of that gold highlight in my inner tear duct area right there I'm using my large fluffy powder brush I'm just gonna blend everything into place 
Now the last step, use your favorite setting spray. My current fave is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I think this is like my second bottle and I actually have a third one waiting for me when this is finished. I seriously love this setting spray. It smells so good, it feels so good. You just let everything soak right in there. <laughs> Ta-da! And there you have it. So super and easy to achieve this look. I told you guys, all you really need is a good lippy. You need a nice like highlight situation with um, some nice blush tones on your cheeks and you're good to go. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you join my fam over here. Comment below and let me know what you'd like to see next and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.